Okay, well. Okay. This is not the team I originally drafted, if you guys remember the last year video. But don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I have a very good reason. And uh, right there is kind of why. So uh, let me explain myself first and get into the video. What is up, guys? It's your boy Cat back again with another BR video. And today, uh, I decided to play BR because uh, I felt bad for what happened. Basically, what happened was I played BR, and the first game I played, I played a guy who was in prestige. Yeah, pretty bad. Uh, I fought, and I didn't win. It was a team with Gary Carter, of course. We had a very, very good chance of winning, but unfortunately, we didn't win there. But today, we're going to play with this team. Now, here's the thing about this team. It's absolutely nasty. I hit well with every hitter on the team. And the pitching, just look at the pitching. Two very, very great pitchers, Snell and Gray and Tanaka. I mean, can't get anything better than that. Also in the bullpen, you got Chapman, Darren O'Day, Strobe, Zach Britton. I mean, just take a look at these guys. They're absolutely nasty. And the bench doesn't even shy away from power. Mitch Moreland, Chris Davis, Framo Reyes, and Sam Hilliard. You're thinking to yourself, Sam Hilliard? Who picked Sam Hilliard? You want to know? This guy. Reason? You want to see? Take a look at these numbers. Ready? You ready? Ready? Boom. Four for five with two bombs. I get it. Small sample size. I get it. Yell at me all you want. But dude, he's absolutely clutch. His numbers against righties may not be the strongest if you were compared to some of the big guys. But the way he's hitting with me off the bench... I mean, think about it, 2.2 slugging, OPS at three. I mean, this guy's absolutely nasty. I'm gonna be playing with this team, but I'm not gonna be doing any face cam stuff. I'm just gonna be doing walkthroughs of how I played to see how far we can go before, you know, calling it a night. So here we go, let's get into game five. All right, we're gonna be playing our first game. We have Blake Snell on the hill. He has Joe Musgrove. His team is Zobris, Ramirez, Varsho, Garver, Murray, Killebrew, Polanco, and Hicks. He honestly has a scary team, but we have a very powerful team. So we're going to start it off right here. We get a, on top of a sinker. That's right. We got on top of a sinker to reach first base. So that was obviously the good thing. And then here's the part where I messed up, man. I wanted to go to second, but I thought that pass ball was going to go a lot farther than it did. But we get picked off. And guess what happens later? Boom! Slider or sinker hanging. And that's a solo shot to center. That easily could have been a two-run Jimmy Jack. But we do take the lead. one nothing. Now we're here to pitch. Blake Snell, this is the 95 Players League, so obviously he was pitching pretty well. Of course, he gets the first out right there. Fastball up and away. We get him to fly out. Next batter, we get another fly out to right field. Warning track power, but it stayed in the park. Finally, another, the third out of the inning comes as a line out to center. Griffey makes the play. Now we head off to bat again, and Sano, first pitch of the at-bat. Gone, slatter away. We were pretty early, but it was just enough to sneak over the wall. Enough to make it a 2-0 game. Then we have a runner on first. Vasquez with a single to right against Diego Castillo. Gives us runners on first and second with only one out. So that means we got to take out Blake Snell. But you know what? I said, you know what? Screw it. We're going to leave him in. There's no reason to waste Snell. He's pitching good. And wouldn't you know it, a slider, middle of the zone. Blake Snell drives a double down the line. Blake Snell with an RBI double. Something you really don't expect to see from pitchers. He makes it a 3 nothing game. But Solaire, he wanted to join in, in the action. Quick pitch. Boom! No doubter. Nearly off the top of the foul pole. And that becomes a 6 nothing game. Then we bring in Darren O'Day to pitch, and here's the thing. Two quick outs, but then we give up a single to left field, and then here's where I got a little bit upset. Of course, Killebrew did not hustle, and then Kingman runs in to try and throw him out at second, but to no avail. Hicks coming up, 0-1 count, and he gets on top of a sinker, and enough to drive it all the way up the middle for a two-run double. But luckily... It was all they wrote is they were only able to score two. Now we head to the top of the third where we not only ground out, but we fly out here literally to the warning track just under the ball, man. It was a little bit unfortunate. And then we get on top of a cutter, 
And that's basically all she wrote for the top of the third. Now here we are in the bottom of the third. Luckily, of course, Zach Britton. This is the bronze card. He's still pitching here. Yeah. And we get our ground out there. Next batter, Jose Ramirez. A chopper to second. Make the easy play there. And then finally, for the third out against Varsho, he grounds out to the second baseman. Just like that, we have a great fifth Got game. It. And now we go on to play game number six. Game number six, we are the road team this time. He has Pedro Strope as his opener. We have Tanaki. He has Springer, Franco, Olsen, Edwin, Mondesi, Dickerson, Perez, and Mazzara. A pretty scary team, but luckily we have Tanaka who throws nasty pitches. We get this game started with the solo Jimmy Jack first pitch of the game. We know Sharp has that nasty cutter, so that's exactly what I was looking for. And we get a home run to start off this game. There we go. Next batter, VR. Gets a sinker or two seam low, and he drives it the other way. I did not expect that to be a hit at all. And the fact that the center fielder didn't even animate to make the play, I was pretty happy we were able to get a, a trip out of that. So here comes Killebrew. We get a cutter low. We honestly hit that really, really well. But it was right at the left field. There was a little glitch right there, what happened. But uh, luckily, we were able to score the run, which made it a 2 nothing game. And that's all we were able to get. Bottom of the first, Springer gets a cutter away or slider away. Solaire, for some reason, doesn't even animate to make the play. A little bit upset, but you know what? It is what it is. Now here's Matt Olsen. We try to dive, but we don't make the play. So now there are runners on the corners with one out. Edwin coming up. I mean, a fastball away. He pulls it. It was just enough to stay in the park, though. It's going to be a sack fly. We do try to get the runner out, but uh, he just got there in time. So it's a 2-1 to -one game. Mondesi's going to bloop it, and here's where I get mad. What was that? Dave Kingman should have at least had an animation where it hits off his chest. I don't know why it just went past him. And then Griffey, I tried to throw it, but then you know how they always cancel the throw. We threw it, and it canceled all this. So now we're losing 2-3. to three. Here's the top of the second. Now, of course, they only scored three, and then we just missed this with Roberto Perez. Just remember that. He just missed it. Now here's, of course, Adamas. We get under a slider. That's a back-to-back -back pitches where we get under it. So we bring in Sam Hilliard, the guy who's been clutch for us. All BR run. I decided to bring him in. You know what? He's already had two bombs for us. Let's try and make it three. First pitch, man. Slider. I cranked it. I was so upset that we just missed it. So now a 2-1 counter. The same pitch later the at-bat. It was good. It was hit deep to right center. And it's going to be off the base of the wall. Hilliard's going to make his way all the way to third. And we try to risk it home. But, of course, he basically got home. So, Lair with two outs. We get under the fastball. I don't know how much more under we could have been. Man, I'm really upset that we swung at that. And I'm really upset that it didn't go out either. So it's still a 2-3 to three game. Then we have Wilmer Font coming into the game. A bronze pitcher. Low-key sneaky good. I asked for this fastball up and away. And, of course, they hit a home run. I was really upset, as you can tell. Man, I wanted that fastball up and away. And it just ends up pretty much up down the middle. Now we head to the top of the third where he brings in Rysel Iglesias. I'm thinking to myself, okay, we're 5-0. and oh. We can't ruin this run. I'm looking for a fastball high. And that's exactly what he throws. VR. Second pitch of the at-bat, solo Jimmy Jack makes it a 4-3 game. I'm like, okay, we're not out yet. Killebrew, who I'm killing it with it in the BR run, rounds out. I'm thinking, oh, man, that can't happen now. Kingman with power, man. I was looking for that slider away. He throws it inside. I don't know why he swing, but we fly out. Now we're down to our last out, and I can't believe the BR run's going to end like this. I'm going to fast forward this at bat because Miguel said no. I was looking for a pitch inside, and he just wouldn't budge. He would not throw a strike to me whatsoever. Three and no count. Here's where I said, okay, hands up, hands up, hands up. Here we go, here we go. And ball four. Great at bat by Sano. Then Griffey coming up. He brings in Cliff Lee. Wow, dude, you got to be that good. So you know what? We're, let's fight fire with fire. We're bringing in Chris Davis off the bench right there. That's right, baby. Chris Davis, fight fire with fire. We fell off the slider that could have ended the game if we got on top of it. But you know what I said? You know what? 
Uh, you know what? I thought to myself, well, we might as well do it now better than later. We're bringing Taylor Walls as a pinch runner. Hey, a little bit late, but we still did it. I'd rather do that. So, of course, here we go. Next pitch. Sweeping curve. We get enough on top of it to drive it down the line, which means the fast runner makes a chance to go home, but we decide to hold him because we cannot risk it. It was going to be a close play. I'd rather be safe than sorry. And then Roberto Perez. I don't know. How he did it. This little lag of a second dropped my heart immediately. But it was enough to muster over the wall for a three-run Jimmy Jack, baby. This was basically my reaction when I hit it. Let's go. That was basically my reaction when I hit that, man. It was absolutely insane. And I, I thought to myself, why in there? Adamus with the single up the middle. There was a little bit of glitch right there. I was going to go second, but of course, luckily we did stay at first. We bring in Framo Reyes for the pitcher spot. And I thought to myself, okay, okay. He's got power. Let's show it off. He threw that circle change low. We weren't going to miss it again. He drives it the other way. We're thinking it's gone. Two outs. Everybody's got to go no matter what. And it hits off the wall. So Framo Reyes stops at second. That's going to be an RBI double, making it a 7-4 game. And here we go. So, Lair, man, you thought that three-run home run was good? Just wait right here. Boom! Another breaking ball low. We decide to muster it over the wall. And just like that, it is an 8-4 game. And that is all that she wrote for the offense. So now we got, of course, leave. We got to think about what we're going to do with our defensive substitutions. And we bring in a role. That's Chapman, baby! We still have the surprise in the bullpen. Very, very nasty. So then, of course, I had to do my strategic. Okay, who do we got to warm up? Who do we got to move? So I decided, you know what? We got to move, uh, of course, Jorge Soler. No, we're going to get VR. We're going to switch Taylor Walls. Taylor Walls is a middle infielder slash third baseman. And, of course, VR, we're going to move him to first, but VR doesn't play first, or he does. But you know what? He has too good of an arm. So we're going to move him at center field. We're going to move Dave Kingman to first. Chris Davis is going to play at left instead of center. Of course, replacing Griffey. And you know what? That's what I thought. I thought to myself, let's maybe change Killebrew and Kingman. But, you know, I was just happy with what it was. So, of course, that's how we're going to leave it. So, here we are now. Bottom of the third, Matt Olson. To the guy who had the worst play of the game, making a stop at first, insane. Next up, Edwin with the shift on, hits it up the middle to the new guy, Taylor Walls, makes a great play, two down, and now on an 0-2 count, we get, of course, Mondesi swinging at a changeup low, and that was all she wrote. One of the most intense games I have ever played in my life. Well, guys, you guys saw those two games. God, that first one, we did really good. But that second one, Jesus, man. That comeback was absolutely insane. Our nine-game reward is Altuve. That could only mean one thing. It's either Trout or Verlander. I'm going to cut it right there, y'all. That last game, God, are you kidding me? I was like on a roller coaster. I was I was up, then I was down, then I was down, then I was all the way up, and then we came all the way back down. Dude, great, great comeback by the team. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you guys think we'll go 12 and 0, and of course, subscribe to the channel where we have a chance to go 12 and 0. That's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.